Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna Brown. So I thought I would make a vlog this weekend. I'm not doing anything particularly crazy, but I have felt like quite unmotivated and just kind of like meh about making videos. So I thought, why don't I just film this weekend and get something, post something, and maybe it'll make my creative juices start flowing again. <laughs> Today's my dad's birthday. So we're going out for dinner, it's Friday. I'm gonna make my dad a card right now because I didn't make him a card earlier. Just finished making a Father's Day and birthday card for my dad. Um, here's the birthday one. It looked way better without the freaking writing. I tried to write a handwriting with paintbrush and that didn't work. <laughs> and then this one is for Father's Day. So... Yeah, there's that. Now I should get ready since I have like 10 minutes before we have to go. We just got back from 900 degrees. It's this really good Italian style pizza place in Langford. Give him his present. We got him um, a wood fired pizza oven. Good morning, everybody. It's 8.15. I'm gonna go on the Peloton. I'm gonna do a fitness test on there. It's the power zone test. It's 20 minutes, so it's gonna be hard. I'm Lauren and I start our like program challenge of the 75 hard. Well, I'll tell you about it later, but for now I gotta go do this fitness test. I wanna do one at the beginning and then at the end so I can actually see like how much I've gotten better. You guys have seen me do enough workouts on the Peloton, so I'm not gonna film it. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> not so hard in that, I had to have the fan on. <laughs> it was so hard. It's actually called an FTP test, which stands for functional training, functional training something. And the point of it is to determine your average output so that you can display the power zones which I don't I didn't know you could do I haven't done that before but it'll be custom to you it'll calculate your power zones based on that number that you input from the test the more you ride and the more you exercise the higher your output's going to be so you're going to actually notice it getting bigger and bigger and we'll see how much if I get any better <laughs> Okay, I've showered. I've gotten ready for the beach, but um, I'm having a really hard time deciding what to wear because it looks kind of windy and cloudy, but it's supposed to get a bit sunny later, so I'm gonna just pretend that that's what's happening. Um, it's like, what, 4.15 now? Oh my god, we were there since 11. Yeah, long day. Played some spike ball, just laid around. It is so hot out actually, remember when I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Um, it was hot. Like, I wore sunscreen, I don't know if I got burnt. God damn it, definitely got a burn. Time to take little Jojo on a walk. 45 minute walk. We're doing the 45 minute outside walk of the 75 hard program right now. This is future Jenna coming in because I forgot to explain to you what the program is that Lauren and I are doing. So 75 hard, it's made up by this guy named Andy Frizzella. Sorry if I said that wrong, but pretty much what you have to do is you have to complete five tasks every day. And if you mess up, you have to start back at day one and you have to do 75 days of this. The tasks are two, 45 minute workouts every day and one of them has to be outside. You have to drink a gallon of water every day, which is this much water every day. You have to go on some kind of diet or food plan. You have to read 10 pages of a nonfiction book every day. And you have to take a progress picture every day. So if you don't do one of those things, you start back at day one. 
Yeah, so that's what the challenge is. Oh, also, he says you can't have any cheat days or you can't have alcohol. Um, except for Lauren and I, technically what we're doing is 75 soft because we're not doing the alcohol thing. We, like, it's just coming up to summer and COVID is just starting to loosen up. So we're like, that would be terrible if all of a sudden we're allowed to like, go and party with our friends and we are like, oh, can't drink. That's what that is. I just thought I would tell you guys because I never ended up telling you. Yeah, I hope that makes things make more sense throughout the rest of this video. <laughs> Gotta wake up and pound the water. I gotta continue on with my workout. Do, do I look okay? Not really. <laughs> if you're wondering, why don't you just fill up that four times? It's because now I can see visually how much left I have to drink and I don't have to keep track of the amount of water bottles. I just finish that and that's that. workout for the morning. Um, my parents made me an omelet. Lovely people. <laughs> um, and it's Father's Day. So I should have been the one to make the omelet. Just running over to my grandparents to go say hi for Father's Day. Gotta bring the cake and um, the dog. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> and time at the Brentwood Lodge. It was so much fun. We went into Todd Inlet, saw an otter, an eel, a seal, and some jellyfish. It was really cool. Um, and then we went to the Brentwood Lodge. We were there for dinner and I got these amazing cauliflowered wings. 7.30 in the morning, gonna go do my workouts. 45 minute workout and start the day. Might even start work a bit early today since I'm getting up so early now. <laughs> Just did a 30, 30 minute interval and arms ride with um, Cody Rigsby again. It was really good. Now I'm gonna do a Flash 15 workout with Jess Sims. I don't know what Flash 15 means. I just assume it means like quick 15, but we'll see. <laughs> So flash 15 was pretty much 15 minutes straight of exercise and they say it's like a standalone class so you don't have to stack it and I stacked it so um, yeah it was pretty hard and also I didn't bring my runners down and I freaking hate doing lunges without shoes on it just hurts my feet. And it was six minutes of lunges so that was terrible. <laughs> okay, I'm off to my massage. I am nervous about the sunburn, but I think there's enough of me that isn't sunburned that worst case, she just doesn't massage my back. So whatever, I just love massages. I also wanna stop quickly at the bookstore because I wanna get these two books that I've seen people raving about. So I'll show you them if I get them. <laughs> okay, so the books I wanna get, are these two books it is too hot in here hold on 
I need to dust my car. It's also freaking hot. Um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and TikToks and like people's favorite books. There's this one girl in specific, her name is Steph. I forget her last name. But anyways, she loves like romance fiction novels. Two that I'm looking for is Song of Achilles. And oh my God, I'm just middle fingering you guys, sorry. <laughs> Song of Achilles and the Addicted series, which is supposed to be really, really, really good. I'm really excited. I'm gonna go look for those. I need to go though because I'm gonna be late for my massage if I wanna go to the mall. And also it's freaking hot in here. I'm, I have started sweating since I started recording two minutes ago. So I gotta go. <laughs> The bookstore didn't have either of those books I wanted. Oh, oh well, I guess I'll just order them online. So the place I go to get massages is called the Active Health and Wellness Clinic in Victoria. It's in Oak Bay, so it's like a bit of a drive for me, but it's really nice. I really like the, the place there. Oh my God, that's how enjoyed I was. There's mascara all over my face. <laughs> I'm kind of in a rush now because um, Tessa's in town, and so Tessa and some of the, uh, the girls from school are all hanging out at the beach, and she's got to leave on the 9 p.m. ferry, so I was like, okay, I have, like, 20 minutes to go, um, hang out with you guys, and I haven't seen them since literally October, so I'm so excited, I'm gonna drive over there. So funny, though, I wish I had somewhere to put you guys so I could talk to you while I'm going. There? Sure. Um, oh, you're gonna see the steering wheel. Oh well. Oh fuck, I gotta look up the directions too. This is bad, distracted driving. Okay, but anyways, the... Oh my God, you fell, sorry. Super excited because I'm heading out to go to a kickboxing class. One of my good friends, Mackenzie, she just started personal training. She's with a gym in Victoria. She's do doing one-on-one -on -one personal training and I'm so excited. I've never actually done kickboxing. Yeah, I'm super excited. I know she's gonna make this so freaking hard because her and I, uh, we met in university and we would go to the gym together, her Lizzie and I, and she would freaking work us so hard. <laughs> I remember those were like some of the hardest workouts was with her, just like the three of us in the gym. She's really good and it, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna die today, I'm pretty sure. <laughs>
finished my workout with Mac at BPM Fitness. She actually freaking killed me. <laughs> She'll uh, tell you her Instagram. Yeah, my Instagram name is Train to Reframe. I have my own little personal training business, working with um, younger girls and motivating people to love their body. And yeah, that's what I love about her Instagram compared to other fitness Instagrams. Is she is more about just like confidence and feeling good about yourself and not like lose weight and uh, yeah like, I don't know follow her on Instagram train to reframe it's really really good I love it and she'll freaking I can't even like my arms are shaking I was trying to hold my camera and I'm like <laughs> so sh she does good <laughs> and if you're in Victoria and want to come for a free assessment shoot me a DM I got you and I'm sure you'll see more of her in the future <laughs> hopefully I'll get better at boxing <laughs> Oh my god, I can barely hold my camera up, actually. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun this weekend, and I had fun filming it. It was nice to get back into the creative filming mode since I would taken, like, a couple weeks off. But, um, yeah, I'm so glad I'm going to be back at it now. Got my inspiration again. And I honestly just love filming vlogs, so I think I'm going to just start filming them again. Oh my god, my plant's getting another leaf. Oh, cute. Yeah, and just by the way, if if this is the last you hear me talk about 75 hard, it means that me and Lauren failed, so just don't bring it up, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go now. I've been rambling on for hours. I have no idea how long this video is gonna be. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!